<laughs> you know, I've always thought I could be good on a children's TV show. That's what uh, I told people. A package just arrived for you from Las Ooh. Vegas. It's the key. Wait, Vivian sent me the key. Wouldn't want to break any littering laws, would we? <laughs> nope. What do you know about a man named Joe Akers? Why do you ask? I understand he used to be the deputy here. So? According to Emily Griffin, Deputy mm -hmm. Joe Akers was her father. But according to the journal I found, William Akers' son was named Joe. Another coincidence? All right, all right. William Akers was my grandfather. Aha! Uh -huh. Why didn't you tell me that before? It's not exactly something I'm proud of. My father spent his whole life trying to make people forget what my grandfather was, and trying to make sure people who didn't know what he was never found out. I've been doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. What did William Akers do after Malone was arrested? I'm afraid you're going to have to excuse me, Miss Drew. In case you've forgotten, I'm a very busy man. Uh-oh, we've upset the ranger. Darn. Oh well, let's go to the cemetery. But no, like I was saying, I always thought I could be great on a children's TV show. That's why I was saying, you know, uh, back shortly before my graduation, everybody's like, Michael, what kind of job are you going to do? I'm like, I'm going to be on a children's TV show. I always wanted to be the British postman. I'll be like Postman Pat. I'll be the, you know, the mailman who shows up and gives everybody letters. And I even wrote a theme song for myself. There's nothing better than getting a letter. There's nothing better than getting a letter today. Right at the fallen tree, left at the log, right, left, left at the ribbon, right, left, left, right, right. Then you take a left at the stomp and a righty, right, left, then you're at the cemetery. I've got some letters for you. I'll be the mailman who delivers letters, and then I'll tell everybody stories. It'll be fun. So, uh, if there's anybody watching this video who's uh, in charge of British children's TV shows, feel free to contact me and uh, give me a job as a postman. And apparently we need a password. So we're going to go back through the woods, because we need to call Miss Vivian about the password. I think we take a left here. Left, right, right. Okay, not the uh, log. I take a right at the log. A left at the fallen tree. A left, a right, a right. A left, a left, and a right to the house. Do do do. So anyway, that's that's uh that's going to be Michael's morning TV show. It's Saturday morning. First, we'll have the uh, twelve little critters. Uh, the dozen little critters. Then we're gonna have the uh, British Postman show, and after that, the Amazing Adventures of Aqua Firestone. It'll be a great lineup. Kids will watch it for like three years. It'll be just like the Disney Afternoon, except now. Hello. Uh, is this Vivian? No, this is your station dropper. Hey. Oh, I know you. Oh my gosh, you station and dropper? Harry Houdini's cousin? Use the air horn like I showed you! No, you stay to wait! It's Nancy Drew. I talked to you on the phone a couple of months ago, just after a friend of mine was kidnapped in St. Louis. I asked you questions about the theater where the kidnapping took place, the Royal Palladium, remember? Yeah. Nancy Drew. The smoke you want. Have you yet? Uh, no. Most people, I talked to them while they. Next day, the people, I talk to them one day, hmm. next day, they're dead. It is an old age thing. Oh, stop being so morbid, you know, Alpha Clam Depp. Hello? Nancy? So you know you stay, huh? Small world. Well, what's up? Oh, Eustacia's a bundle of joy. I got the key you sent me. Thank you so much. Glad to see I she's really as happy as ever. It. There's just one thing. It, it doesn't seem to work. Oh, where is my brain? The key unlocks the letters of the inscription. I, I, I just dial in the password and you'll be set. There's just one more thing. Oh, uh, you don't know the password. I'm sorry. Eustacia and I've been playing Canasta all day, and I guess feeding her all those times took more out of my brain than I thought. Next game, I win. Next game, 
Bulls a place for pizza. Well, get out your wallet, sister, because you're going down. So, where were we? Oh, yeah, the password, the password. Let's see. It was the name of that federal agent, his first name. Waldo? No, 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 not his real first name. Oh, Mickey was always calling him Baldo. That was it, Baldo. I always thought it was mean to call him that. Especially since Mickey was starting to get a little sparse on top himself. So I just turn the letters until they spell Baldo? Yes, dear, but mm -hmm. like almost everything else in life, it's trickier than it sounds. William Akers, the guy life who called Will, from he went about looking for the gold that Malone had supposedly buried on his property at Moon Lake. Do you know anything about that? The hole in the floor gold heist. Well, I'll be darned. So it's true? Yeah. He did bury gold on his property? Truth be told, when Mickey told me he was the one who pulled off that heist and that he'd buried 20 gold bars at Moon Lake, I didn't believe him. I thought he was making it up. See, Mickey and I were on the outside then. I thought he was just trying to entice me to come back. But if he told Willie the same thing, maybe there's something to the story after all. Hmm. Did he say anything to you about a map? Yeah. He said he was making a treasure map in that... Uh, a dog. Something about those dogs of his. The dogs will lead the way? He was always saying that. In fact, I'm pretty sure he had it engraved on his tombstone. Think! He said he was making a treasure map, and that he was mm -hmm. all we have the map. paintings done of each dog. He made it sound like one thing had something to do with the other, like he was giving me some big important clue. But I just figured he was playing games, trying to lure me back with mystery and intrigue. I told him to buzz off. Maybe I shouldn't have. Mm. Did he say what he was going maybe, to do maybe with not. the paintings? Maybe, maybe not. Daddy was going to hang them in the speakeasy, and I'm sure that's precisely what he did. Do 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 do. It's been fun talking to you. I know. <laughs> All right, so that's Vivian. So let's go. Let's go. Now that we know how to get into the speakeasy. Left, right, right, left. Oh man, I'm lost. Right at the fallen tree. Left at the log, right, left, left at the yellow ribbon, right? No. Left at the stump, here we go. Okay, so let's hope, I have the solution that I figured out for junior mode, which is to do them in the order of the first one, the fourth one, the fifth one, and then the second and the third one. Let's hope that works here. First, then fourth, then the fifth, then the second. Oh, second in place. Oh, it doesn't work here. Oh, that's not very good. That's, that's not very helpful at all. Okay, so, um... I'm going to have to uh, figure out how to solve this on my own then, but for those of you playing in junior mode, you move the first one, then the fourth one, then the fifth one, then the second one, then the third one, and I'll be right back with the senior mode solution. Okay, so in senior mode, the key to the puzzle is the fact is the second one. When I press, you'll notice the second one moves pretty much whichever one I click, except for this fourth one. That makes it the key. And you'll also notice that when I move the second one, it move every single time you touch the second one, the third one moves as well, except when you touch the first one. So you're not going to want to mess around with the first one, because that will throw number two off with its sink on number three. If that doesn't make any sense, then, you know, just ignore what I'm saying. In any case, the way to solve the puzzle is get the... Get number one in place by clicking number two. Then you're going to get number two in place, number two and three in place, that is, by clicking number three, and then you move number four into place. Baldo Matthias. So that's easy. Number two, number three, and number four. And you click all of them twice. Ooh. We're gonna go to speakeasy. We're gonna go to speakeasy. 
It should be easy to get into. It's too dark. I need a flashlight. You have a flashlight, Nancy. Alrighty. Oh, the batteries are going dead. Oh no. I can't see a thing. I'd better go back. Whoopsies. Okay, so what you want to do is you need to turn around. And... Can I go up? Oh good, you move left, and then you go up. And that's how you get out of there, even without your little flashlight working. Yay! So we're gonna have to go see M about new flashlight batteries.